What's up, guys? So I got another video for you this morning. We're uh, finally getting the shed back together after we've transitioned from getting the woodland out and putting the uh, wood miser in. We still got to move some things around and clean some things up. So ignore the mess. But check it out. Here's what we're doing today. And I'm going to be more descriptive in the very beginning so you understand completely what we mean. I'm going to title this similar to I did the video over on the Corley. We are sawing sunken logs again. But let me describe to you exactly what I mean when I tell you that I'm sawing sunken logs. And uh, yes, it is a catchy title. But stick around because it is cool. So there is a preservation method been used for a very, very long time. I don't know how long. I know over a hundred years by sawmills where you use water to preserve your logs. Now, let me give you an example, especially with pine in particular. I know I deal with a lot of pine. Pine in the, in the late summers in the deep south dries out quick. So once it cuts, once you cut it, the uh, I would say within 30 days, your bark is slipping. Probably within 60 days, I mean, the bugs are eating them up. Uh, a lot of things happen to deteriorate the quality of the log in a short period of time. Okay, so these logs, I actually purchased these logs from Tim over at Cotton Top 3's channel. All right, so when Tim br uh, brought these logs to me to, to sell me, uh, he explained to me that he cut them in the late summer okay and to preserve the logs meaning to hold all the original value from the day he cut them to the time in which he sold them which was i believe around four to six months later he sunk them in his pond just as a preservation method and i have now sawn around let's see five or six of these logs uh two of them were white oak uh the logs literally look like the day you cut them down they look fresh fell they are full moisture content they are uh still the bark is still held i don't know um if you can tell but the bark is not even slipping like it would be if you would have just set these in a stack so long story short that's the explanation for it if you wondered why uh you know we're saying they're sunken logs they were sunk in a pond for months as purely a preservation method nothing more nothing less um and it does help preserve them they've been doing that for a long time there are a lot of the big mills out west are still throwing uh logs in ponds to this day so stick around let's saw this joker up
right, guys, that finishes it up. It's 12 2 by 6s three 2 by 4s out of that one log. I know some of you probably don't like splitting them like that, but, uh, well, I don't know if you can tell from the photo, but I can tell from being right here. They're straight as an arrow. We lucked up. Splitting them had no issue. Um, no warpage or nothing, so that's cool. Anywho, these are for me. These are going on my pole barn, so we'll get those on the next day or so. Uh, if you guys like this content, like, comment, and subscribe. We will be posting more in the very near future. Thanks for watching, guys.